Rafael Dos Anjos. A veteran of nearly six years in the five straight, while beating the likes of Evan Dunham and Donald Cerrone. Habib, the Eagle. And then there are grappling specialists like Habib Nurmagomedov, his victory over Abel Trujillo, his vicious knuckling. In the Tavares fight, he also showed. But the Sambo that we've seen from a dangerous young man, two-time world Sambo inside the octagon, has been nothing short of amazing due to world-class competition. So his professional career. And he's looking to move this eagle, Nurmagomedov. of those during his time in the UFC. Original Habilov was heard, of course. Habilov has a date for mentioned Eagle, Habib and Nurmagomedov. And another man who Los Anjos has a stellar ground game himself. Very high level. Massive improvement in his striking skill. That has really been steady growth that has seen him defeat guys like the last time we saw him lose was a decision to Glacier T. -Buck. And since then, he has looked outstanding. Whip's turning points was his win in Montreal at UFC 150. The 29-year-old Brazilian against the native of Russia. Again, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, are a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the e Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a grappler. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Habib. A referee in charge, John McCarthy. Second time in lightweight history that we've been able to feed the right, number of battles right. they had. Right. Here we Highly touted is Nurmagomedov. Check this out. Dosanjki, that's crazy. That's how good Habib Nurmagomedov. Sambo champion, two-time world Sambo champion. Other level. It's completely advanced when he... In that fight that you mentioned against Trujillo, Joe. Healy fight is another excellent example. Yep. We know how tough Pat Healy is. We know distance. He's got the clinch. This will tell us a lot here. We got it. But, got him down. but look at the way he does it. Yeah. He just elevates guys. Dos Anjos is up. Break the grip and separate. And utilize single. Training it. Cavalry Chappelle, Kings of American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, the home of our between Fabricio Verdum and Travis Brown. And Do Dos Anjos never got off and fly. Look how he this kid forward. is. I mean, he's just wrecked on another level. Dos Anjos working for Kimura. He's got to be careful in over committing to this, though. Right now, he's in, just decided to just get back to his feet, and he's up. To close in on a guy and grab a hold of him. Relentless pressure. Just did a great job in getting yeah. back up to his feet. Oh, hard uppercut. <laughs> Tried with that lead uppercut. Kick to the body there. Especially effective because Nurmagomedov ducks his head in. Nurmagomedov. Like we saw earlier tonight. Also, Dos Anjos. There it is. Oh, there. Beautiful job by Nurmagomedov. Good right hook by Dos Anjos and a good return by Nurmagomedov. You know. Let's keep this fighting. Do like Lyoto does. Go in. Excellent advice from Rafael Cordero. He was definitely doing better, which is a lot more than a lot of other people have been able to do against Nurmagomedov. He had a bit of a jab coming in. Both guys doing a good job of a... He set that up with his hands, Joe, for the last 30 seconds. And he's also... Doesn't have a cup. It's tough to tell. But it's going to be very get difficult to get real legs free and around the body of Nurmagomedov. Looks like he's going to try it. Nurmagomedov's head is almost out. Now it's out. Now Nurmagomedov. Three takedowns for Nurmagomedov. 20 career wins for the Brazilian. 21. 
Nurmagomedov to get back up here. Both men have won five straight fights. Nurmagomedov five and zero oh in the to keep busy. Well, there's really nothing that Dos Anjos is fully committing to it, but he doesn't have full guard again. It's incredible. 90 seconds. Staying on top of him. Any rat happens. Or make something happen here from off his back. Good shot there. Hard now. Seven wins. Number Gomedov. He may be the most smothering guy in the UFC. That's his world joke. I mean, it really is. It's get smushed. Yep. Oh, looking for five minutes remain in this fight. And again, Rafael Dos Anjos going for that guillotine attempt. But never Final round. Go. To stand and trade. Well, you know, at this point in time, he's got to just... He and did that for a little bit early in round two, Joe. Yes, he did. He drags him down to the ground again. There's a kick by Dos Anjos. Nobody's really kept. It's how beat Comes in, he mixes it up. His last hit, and that's what he's going to need. It's right. You're going to need a real ensemble fighter who wants to be a world champion mixed martial arts fighter. Rustam Habilov fights in the main event in Albuquerque. Tougher. In Dagestan. Again, oh, it's, it's, it's not about winning a decision. Yep. That's all he's got. He's shooting a Nurmagomedov. What happens? You gotta stay on another level. He makes great grapplers look like amateurs. It's also his aggression and his will. He he's just attacking. Just massive aggression. And especially at AKA. It's work. He also long, whether it's a guy like this or a John Jones type character that just started avoiding Habib Nurmagomedov for years. And you see him all man out. Remember, go medal. Another one. <laughs> and he's in the close guard. Up tight for defensive reasons. He's just trying to stay alive here. Yep. Right in the kisser. Paid the price. And right back all over him is number. Just getting dragged around like this on the ground. And a guy who's. We feature two men on five fight winning streaks in oh, his career. But over the last few years, we've never seen anybody do that off versus Anthony Pettis. Gilbert I mean, Melendez wants people, his turn first. But I just want to see who's got the style to handle this guy. The Habib Nurmagomedov, Rafael Dos Anjos go the dick. Go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the con. Go! of Habib Nurmagomedov over and over again, the relentless masterpiece performance of grappling. UFC winning streak, 6-0 in the UFC.